guys, how are you? So I am here to do a tutorial for you and it is featuring some of my Burberry eyeshadows. These are the Burberry Sheer eyeshadows, so they're not gonna be super intense pigments, but they are just the perfect amount of pigmentation and they wear really well and they blend so easily. So if you are that kind of person who has a hard time blending eyeshadow, especially when you're doing a smoky eye like the one I'm wearing, it can be tough sometimes if you have super pigmented eyeshadows and then they just kind of go on and then you're like sitting there for hours blending it. These Burberry eyeshadows blend like a dream. Like they're so smooth. They're still really pigmented, but it's more of a... I can't really explain it. It's called their sheer eyeshadow, which is... I feel like the texture is sheer and the consistency is sheer, but there's still a good amount of color in it. And I did this smoky eye right here really easily really quickly just because they blend out really nicely so I didn't have to sit there for hours blending um, I will tell you guys what else is on my face at the end of the video but other than that let's just get started with the tutorial okay so obviously I don't have any face makeup on so you do see a little bit of redness on my eyebrows I did just tweeze my eyebrows so that's why it's a little bit red all around if you're curious the first thing I'm going to go in with is the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer this is their newest eyeshadow primer. I really do like this stuff. When you first apply it though, it's kind of that slick feeling, but once it dries, it gets to more of a um, tacky feeling, I guess you could say. But like first putting it on, it's definitely a lot slick. Today we're going to feature all Burberry eyeshadows, and the first color I'm using is number one, Pearl White. And it looks like that. I'm starting off with this color because I want to put this on the brow bone and in the inner corner of my eye. So I'm going to first take a little bit, put it right there under the brow bone, and even under the brow right here. And then later I'm going to come back and apply more of it to the inner corner. I'm going to use some scotch tape. I'm going to take a little bit of the tape put it on my hand a few times just to get rid of some of the tackiness and then I'm going to create a line just so I can have a straight line from the outer edge of my eyeball to the, my brow bone that's kind of the direction that you want to put it in and then just kind of put the tape right there. I'm going to go in with this next Burberry eyeshadow called number 9 Rosewood let's focus now and this one is a gorgeous kind of like pinky toned taupe. I hope you guys can see that. It looks very taupe right there, but it, in real life it has almost like a pink tint to it. I'm actually going to use this color for the blending color. So usually I would use more of a matte brown color, but since it's fall time, I'm going to kind of spruce it up with a nice taupey color right in the crease. And we're going to use it as the blending color also. And I'm going to take this all the way in and then obviously and the next color I'm going to go in with is this one which is a number 24 and this one is called mulberry and that looks like this and it looks like a deep purplish color almost like a deep plum color and I'm going to take this with any flat shader brush and I'm actually going to use this color all over the lid and these Burberry eyeshadows are kind of sheer and well they're called sheer eyeshadows but when I do the lid color with this, I like to press it just to build the color a little bit more. Now that we have the lid color on there, I'm going back in with this white color that we used earlier. And I'm going to put just a little bit of this right here in the inner corner of the eye and just blend it in and up. You can even use your finger to blend it out a little bit more to make it more natural. But that just kind of puts a little bit of brightness into the inner corner of the eye. Now to darken this up a little bit more like on this side, we have a little bit of the smokiness right here in the outer corner. I'm going to take a pencil brush, this one's by Sigma. I'm going to take the Burberry eyeshadow in number 18, Midnight Black. And this color looks like that a literally just matte black color so you can take any matte black that you want I really like this Burberry one just because again this is a sheer eyeshadow it's not too too pigmented but it just blends out a lot easier than most black eyeshadows 
I'm going to focus this mostly on the outer lower lash line and then going to bring it up slowly onto the lid and into the outer V here. And you can bring this up slightly in the crease but just be careful. Like I already can tell I put a little bit too much black on the lid. So I'm going to have to go back in with the lid color that we use, that dark purple, and just kind of go over it a little bit just to kind of diffuse that dark black color just a little bit more. Alright, so again we want most of the smokiness right there on the outer corner. You can build this smokiness up to however much you want. I don't want it to be too dramatic and smoky, I just wanted to leave it right there. Some people can go higher into the crease if you want your smoky eye to be super dark, but I'm just going to keep it right here. Then I'm going to slowly remove my tape. Alright, you can see there's a pretty harsh line. I usually just like to take my finger and just kind of go over that a little bit just to kind of get rid of the harshness. Alright, and as you can see I do have some fallout over here and everything so my foundation is actually going to clean it up for me. Okay, now you can take any eyeliner that you would like. This is the L'Oreal Liner Intense in black. Just a basic liquid eyeliner. You can use gel liner or pencil liner, whatever is easiest for you. And just line your eyes and create a slight wing. Oh my goodness, I always forget this step, but definitely curl your eyelashes before you do your eyeliner. I always forget that, so I'm just going to quickly curl them now and then retouch my winged eyeliner if I need to. That I'm going to go in with my Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. I'm just going to do a light coat of mascara just because when I put on my false eyelashes, yes, we are using false lashes today. Once I put those on, the lashes will blend nicely because my lashes will already have a coat of mascara. And the lashes I'm going to be using, I've been obsessed with. So I will show you guys that in a second, but I'm just going to coat my lashes with some mascara first. And I'm going to be going in and applying my Fake It eyelashes. It's the Liberty Republic Fake It lashes. And this one is my favorite right now. It's called Innuendo. And I'm wearing it on this eye. I hope you guys can see. It's very natural, but you can see that it still gives a lot of length and volume, which I absolutely love. So I had to trim mine to my perfect size. Here are the lashes if you want to see them. That's what they look like. I'm going to be applying my favorite lash glue, which is by Revlon. And it's just the one in clear. And this one's super awesome. So I'm just going to apply a thin layer of glue, let it set a little bit until it's tacky, and then apply them to my lashes. I'm going to apply some black eyeliner. You can use any black eyeliner that you want. I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line. I'm going to go back in with that pencil brush that we used earlier and back with that lid color, which is that dark purple, taking just a little bit of this and I'm just going to smudge out the black eyeliner on the lower lash line. Alright you guys, so after I finished the eyeshadow for you, I went and just did my whole entire face. I actually just did a first impressions video of the Dior Skin Star Foundation, which is the new newest foundation. I can't talk today. But that is what I'm wearing on my face today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Burberry eyeshadow look. I think it's a great, simple, like subtle smoky eye without being too dramatic. Let me get close for you so you guys can see a better look of the eyeshadow. Uh, the lashes are beautiful. I absolutely love them. and I, I really do love this look. I think it's great. I could actually even wear this to work. It's not too, too dramatic. I think it's just perfect. So if you're curious what's on my lips, because that's what I finished off also, I have these two Jordana Twist and Shines layered together. The first one is Honey Love. Can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that. And then the one I topped it off with just a little bit of this because I didn't want it to be too dark, but this was kind of light, so I just put a little bit of this over it. I'll put a little more. But this one is called Cranberry Crush. So 
These are available at Walgreens if you guys are interested in these. They are so nice. But yeah, that's the entire Burberry eyeshadow tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love the Burberry eyeshadows. They blend out so easily. And since they are a sheer eyeshadow, it's just very smooth. And they just, oh, they're so nice. I absolutely love them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fall smoky eye tutorial. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.